guys, so today I'm going to be doing my 2018 bullet journal setup and I do apologize for this being a little bit late, but hopefully you can still get some inspiration. Before I get too far into the video, I did want to mention I got a ton of requests to make a bullet journal Instagram so you guys can see more of my bullet journal stuff. So if that interests you, you can go ahead and follow it. It's just at af.journaling and I will try to post on there as much as possible. Just some of my weekly spreads and stuff that you wouldn't get to see on my YouTube channel. With that said, moving on to my actual 2018 bullet journal, I started off by making this cover page of my initials, and I did this in my previous bullet journal as well, which I will link my 2017 setup below in case you are interested in seeing that, um, just for more ideas. And then my next page is my key, and this is basically... Um, just a page where you write kind of what all of the different bullets mean. I decided to draw a key and with all of my illustrations I like to add shadowing and use different pens to make them come to life a little bit more so that's what I'm doing here. I'm in love with And my key is not exactly like the original bullet journal key. I decided to do these small little circles for this bullet journal because that's what I've been liking recently. But your key can be totally whatever you want to make it. There are tons of different ones. If you want to look on Pinterest or at other bullet journal videos, everyone kind of finds their own system that works well for them. And if you're completely new to bullet journaling in general, I'll also have an information video linked in the description so you can learn a bit more about it. Then on the opposing side of the page, I just drew out 2018, and I like to pencil everything in just to make sure that I get it right, especially when I'm going to be filming it. Um, so I also like counted the spaces to make sure it was even, and then I'm just adding a drop shadow to add a little bit more detail. And then moving on to my future log, so I began by taking a ruler and just mapping everything out. Again, I have it all pretty much outlined in pencil just to make things go a little bit quicker. And then I split it into columns. I did six for the two pages and then I did two um, pages for all 12 months. And then I just did a really simple cursive abbreviated font for the headings. And then I went ahead and started filling in my little calendars. This can be super tedious, but once you get it all done, it looks really nice. And then I went ahead and started putting in some of my events that I knew that I had, and I just kept it really simple at the top by writing the year and then a little um, line detail. And then moving on to my goals page and I did this in my previous bullet journal as well and I got a lot of compliments on it and people also um, incorporated this into their bullet journals and tagged me on Instagram. If you guys ever recreate my spreads, please tag me on Instagram and I'll be sure to like it and comment and maybe share it in a future video. But I did kind of like a word collage for my goals just because I think it's more inspiring and... It also makes your bullet journal look a little bit more interesting. So I just wrote 2018 goals in the center and then I'm taking different pens and basically just making a word collage of all the different things that I would like to prioritize and try in 2018. And the best part about this is if you don't like how you wrote like a certain thing, by the end of it, it ends up looking good kind of no matter what, even if you mess up a little bit. So you don't have to be super particular. It ends up looking um, pretty nice either way. And I didn't make any lists or anything in this bullet journal just because I found that I wasn't using them in my last one. So this will actually be my final page in my setup. Um, just super simple it's totally up to you this is just how mine turned out and then I just went back and added some borders and I also added a border to my goals page as well 
And here is a final flip through of my 2018 bullet journal setup. Definitely subscribe for more bullet journal videos and follow my bullet journal Instagram if you are interested in seeing more. I'll see you guys in my next video.